In the AI space, we have all probably heard of Langchain, which is an open source framework with an extensive toolkit to help you build LM-based applications. It's possibly the best LM-based app creation framework. Well, today, I'd like to introduce a new open source Langchain-like AI knowledge database, and it has a simple UI similar to Langchain. And this is a way for you to basically get help in creating different LM-based applications, as well as various other capabilities. This is where I introduce to you Cassiebase, an AI GC vector and knowledge database with a UI that you can actually interact with similar to Langchain. It's fully AI generated and you can do various different things in terms of its management doc. It's something that is deployed with a front end as well as a back end architecture that is actually developed by Golang and it ensures high concurrency while you're using it. It features a user-friendly web-based management UI as well as an assistant chatbot that you can work alongside with. It supports Chinese as well as the English language and it's something that facilitates third-party application logins through platforms like Google, Cloud, you have GitHub, QQ, and many others. Now, in their documentation, they also state that you're able to configure and add various other types of plugins. You're also able to employ embeddings and prompt prompts for basic knowledge management. And this is something that allows for customizable embedding methods as well as other language models within Cassiebase. Now the platform is seamlessly integrated with existing systems through database synchronization, which is a way for you to enable a smooth transition for any sort of user of Cassiebase. Now this is something that is compatible with popular databases like MySQL as well as SQL Server and it gives you a lot more capabilities in terms of having it deployed in other settings. Now this is something that I'm going to be showcasing throughout today's video as I showcase how you can create various LM based apps, how you can actually use their framework so that you can do other components that they talk about within their ecosystem. So before we actually get into Cassibase, I want to announce an important announcement on this for this channel. And that is the creation of my second YouTube channel. I highly recommend that you check this out guys, as this is my new channel that I'm going to be posting on, I would say a day to day basis where I talk a little bit more about the blockchain as well as various different types of cryptocurrencies. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this link in the description below to the world of crypto. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Cassiebase. This is an open source tool that serves as an AI GC. Now, what this actually means is that it's an artificial intelligence with a graph computing vector and knowledge database. It comes with visual appealing web user interface, which we saw previously in the start of the video. And this is a way for you to basically have a uh, easy way for you to generate various different types of content with it. Now, in simple terms, it's a tool that's designed to work with artificial intelligence and graph computing. It provides you a database for knowledge. It provides you a knowledge storage retrieval system. And it's referenced to Langchain because it is able to share many different types of similarities in terms of the open source framework for building applications. You have the same sort of toolkits as well as helping you basically create applications that leverage advanced technologies like how Langchain is able to do it. So now let's actually take a look at how it works because this will get you a better idea to understand what you can actually do with Cassiebase. Well, Cassiebase in general is a way that can simplify knowledge as well as retrieval using embeddings and prompts. You're able to start by configuring the storage in the actual Cassiebase database, which I showcased. This is a way where you can upload files with a domain specific like type of information. You can choose the embedding method like word to x or birth. And this is where we see this in this graph over here. You put in the input, 
you select the embedding model and you get the numerical representation of it now after you choose for like the embedding model that you want for the knowledge generation you just simply need to enable an effective searching and clustering which is a part of step two this is where Cassiebase is able to transform the data into vectors for powerful functions like similarity search. You then move on to the third step, which is building the prompt. It involves creating a prompt template based off the search results for precise language model queries. Now, then you move on to the fourth step, which is achieving the goal. Now, this is where your achieved knowledge goal is accessing accurate information based off what you gave it. Now, another feature is getting on to the fifth step, which is fine tuning, which is quite optional, but it requires you tweaking the language model parameters as well as optimizing the files for even better results. But in general, you can see that it's an amazing retrieval augmented system with the database that Casbase provides. It allows you to do various different types of things and it simplifies the knowledge retrieval with the framework that Casbase provides. Now, the great part is, is that they have a wide variety of different types of language models that you can use. You can use all of OpenAI's models. You have Hugging Face models. You can use all the ones that are over here, as well as many off of Hugging Face, any or open source model, basically. Claude, you have OpenRouter, Ernie, and many others. In terms of embedding models, you can use all of the models provided by OpenAI. Hugging Face, Cohere, Ernie, as well as Local, which is custom embeddings that you can upload on your own. So at this current moment, you can actually access it using two methods off the cloud and locally installing it. You can see that they have the chat demo already uploaded on ai.caspin. This is the index with Caspin knowledge. Now, this is obviously going to be infused with the Caspin knowledge, not based off your knowledge that you uploaded. But if you want to basically work on your own knowledge, you can definitely play around with the actual demo that they have in terms of uploading it into the built-in store within Caspin. Now, what I recommend is actually installing this locally, and it's fairly easy to do so. If you go onto their documentation, they give you a step-by-step -step demo as to how you can install it and create a server for it. Now, you're going to need to have a couple of prerequisites. You need to make sure that you fulfill them and then you can move on with whatever you're trying to install in terms of selecting the database, embedding models, and the language models. In this case, you first start off by installing the front end, then you move forward to install the back end. And they give you the source code. So you simply just start off by going to clone the repository, going into the path, and then afterwards you need to download the code for it. And they give you a step-by-step -step process for each of the databases that you want to install so if you're interested definitely take a look at this so you get a better idea and how you can set up the front end as well as the back end based off the model that you want to work with and then you'll be obviously able to open it up on your local host where you can then log into the Caspase dashboard and then you can go onto the dashboard and start uploading and playing around with it now guys, I highly recommend that you take a look at the documentation because there are a lot of tutorials in teaching you how to work with the actual ecosystem of Casabase with Casador as well as its own local Casabase system. Now you can see that they have tutorials on various different things like adding an embedding provider, which basically means that you add a provider to Casabase. It's like to Casabase and it's like connecting a special toolkit to help Caspase understand and organize the information that you have provided better. Now, this is something that will enhance the processing capabilities as well as the storage knowledge system within Caspase. This is something that I highly recommend that you do check out so that you get a better idea how you can implement certain things within Caspase. Now, this is an amazing tool that has various different types of things that you can work with. You have capabilities of chatting with your knowledge, you have stores, which is the built-in storage that they have. You're able to add your own. Uh, in this case, it's not operated at the moment because I don't have a proper account. But you can go to the providers and then you can work with all the embeddings that people have already created, as well as the models that you can work with. So, for example, you can just take GPT-4 and you can work around with it or GPT-3.5 Turbo. You have vectors in case if you want to upload your own. You can chat with it check take a look at the messages task clustering as well as the word sets this is practically the same thing as Langchain in a way you can do various other things and this is something that i highly recommend that you check out so that you can play around 
with their open source knowledge database. Now, in summary, guys, this is a way for you to streamline the management of technical documents, using it as a tool to help with knowledge storage as well as retrieval in various different environments. It replicates the same sort of idea as Langchain. You can help create various different LM based apps within its ecosystem. Now, it might be a little bit harder to do so because it might not be the best user friendly system that is out there like Langchain, but it's a great step forward to have an alternative to Langchain. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can access Castbase fairly easily. But guys, I just want to end, uh, end off with this note that if you, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can actually go subscribe to my new channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of content that will be very valuable to you based off crypto. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the Patreon page, you should definitely do so so you can access our private Discord. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest in AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the world of AI. Like this video, check out our previous videos. And there's a lot of content previously uploaded so that you can definitely take a look at that and get a better idea on what sort of content in AI will definitely help you out. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.